We all acknowledge that Mike Pearson knows a lot about agriculture. So let's see how he does in a contest about one of agriculture's arch enemies, weeds. All right, folks, I'm here at the Weed Identification Contest, and whether you're a farmer or a gardener, half of the battle to keeping your fields clean is knowing what it is you've got to kill. So behind me, you can see 25, 40 different weeds. I've got one of them already, but come along with me. I'm going to enter this competition and see how well I do. Uh, there are 40 plants, so we actually have three divisions. There's a youth division for those under 19. They have to know 25, so the first 25 are meant to be somewhat easy, uh, per fairly common weeds that you would find in Iowa. The next 10, so the 35 are what the general division has to do, so those are adults who are not professional weed scientists. Um, so the next 10 are a little bit harder, the 26 to 35. And then the last five of the 40 are very difficult. They're meant to be almost impossible. You know, the only rules are that they ha the weed has to be found within the state borders of Iowa. Sort of the most general definition that people would use is that it's a plant out of place. It's something that shows up in a place where you don't want it to be. Uh, pretty tough. There's a lot of weeds out there that I don't usually see every day, but I know I probably learned them in a class sometime back at Iowa State. <laughs> oh, I had trouble with some of the bindweed things. It was it was a challenge, and, and then some were easy. And a lot of the samples are so poor, deliberately, that you really can't tell, and that's part of the game, because otherwise they couldn't eliminate people. Um, it was pretty challenging. Uh, there are weeds that you see every day, but yeah, usually have a pocket guide that you can be, oh, that's what this is, and don't necessarily remember them all off of memory. <laughs> Water hemp, definitely. The grasses you see every day. Um, uh, lamb's quarter, milkweed. Okay, there's mare's tail, lamb's quarters, and water hemp are two of the... And the soft them. one? Uh, velvet leaf. Yeah. Well, those are our big ones. We got those. Last year, we did it together and got he got a ribbon, so he was pretty happy about that. This year, we practiced, and I tried not to help him very much at all. There was a few that I said the right word, and you remembered. I'd say two thirds, probably pretty confident. Maybe, maybe two thirds, yeah, a little over half. <laughs> over half, I think I got right, but the whole last table was pretty tough. <laughs> it's a blast. And I have been practicing for a couple weeks to get ready for it. Uh, I get out reference books and I walk slowly through weed patches, which are everywhere, and try and identify things as I go along and then go back to the books to check up on them. All right, folks. Well, the numbers are in from the weed identification contest, and I got four and a half out of 35. We call that a solid F in school, but I did get the most important ones. I got water hemp and Palmer amaranth correctly and the folks from Iowa State University Extension were very helpful in walking through my few wrong answers, so I am all prepared to be a competitor next year when Iowa State University will hold the weed identification contest again. I encourage all of you to come out. There's a lot to learn about Iowa's weeds.